how you guys and welcome back to my channel it's been a minute i'm sorry you guys i'm so sorry i had a lot of life events going on i was not able to record but i'm back i'm doing a video for youtube and tiktok today so make sure to check them both out i'm going to be making sticky pork belly one of my husband's favorites and to get started i got about two pounds of sliced pork belly here with the rind I need to shave this. Well, I'm going to run the lighter across this to get rid of the little fine hairs. But that's it right there. I normally get like the whole slab, but they didn't have those available. They just had the sliced ones, so we'll just go with that. And it's about two pounds here. So I'm going to go ahead and burn these suckers with the lighter to get these fine hairs off. Then we back to getting this recipe going. Alright, you guys. We're back to get started um we're gonna boil this to clean it off you know normally when you get meats you clean it off with some vinegar lemon juice water whatever rinse it off soak it or whatnot but in this case we're just gonna boil it to clean it off but let's boil it with some flavors though i got some five spice powder here i'm eyeball it but directly you want like a tablespoon's worth Okay, I shook some off camera. It was coming out a little too slow. Got some chicken powder. And we need about two tablespoons of this because normally you'll add some chicken broth to the mix, but instead of chicken broth, I'm just use chicken powder and water. So that'd be a broth combo right there. Then we go with a couple tablespoons of soy sauce. Two should be fine. Some Shaoxing cooking wine. I need to get a new bottle, but this one kind of old. But the tablespoon's worth is good. And some rice vinegar. About two. And let's top this off with some water. Okay. We're gonna let this come to a boil and let it go for probably around an hour. Get nice and tender. Especially got the rinds on there, so it definitely need to boil it for a while. All right, you guys, and I got the boiling. And while you're cooking, skim off any scum that you see. This is a mixture of scum and seasonings, but skim that shit off to become clear, okay? And let this go. Sorry guys, one thing I forgot to mention, make sure you add a couple cloves of garlic and a piece of ginger to the pot. I forgot, but don't you forget, okay? Alright you guys, I got my ginger and garlic here. I chopped up probably about, probably about a tablespoon and a half of each. I didn't want to put too much because it kind of get overpowering. And here's our cooked pork belly. I set it in the freezer so it can firm up some more. And we're going to go ahead and get to cutting this. Let's see if I can do it with one hand, you guys. <laughs> Boom. Just like that. And cut in the bite-sized pieces. So I'm going to finish cutting these. And we're going to go ahead and hit this pan and get the frying. Okay, I got my pan here. I'm going to add a little bit of oil. It's just that much is fine. And I'm going to throw in our garlic and ginger. Put on the knife. Okay, let this sizzle for about 30 seconds to a minute. And make sure you watch it, that garlic will burn on you, so be careful. Alright, let's throw a small onion up in there. This is a small yellow onion I had sitting around. I said, why not? Let's go ahead and throw that in there. Let that saute off as well. Alright, let's go ahead and chop the meat up in there. Pork belly. Get that little mixy mix. Yeah. Now 
I'm just gonna get rid of the throw our sauces in. Make this nice and sticky. Okay, first thing, good rice vinegar. Splash. That's a little in there. About a tablespoon and a half. Next up, hoisin sauce. A lot of that in there. Probably about a quarter cup's worth. Next up, I got some mushroom flavored dark soy sauce. That'll give it a nice, rich color. Okay. Not bad, it's probably about two tablespoons worth. And then, I got some sweet chili sauce. This is my favorite one to use. Dump some of that in there if I can get it out too. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Now um, that I did the same amount as I did the hoisin sauce. It's probably about a quarter cup. Then I'm gonna add some water. I'm gonna add enough water to help spread this these sauces about. too much water because I want this to reduce and I don't want it to take a very long time and turn this pork belly into mush. <laughs> I think. How much water did I put in here just now? Just enough to barely cover the pork. That's how much water you need. But you can always stick in the sauce with some cornstarch. That'll work also. I don't have to reduce for Oh, let me turn this fan off. My bad, y'all. <laughs> I turned that fan off because them onions was getting to me. So we're going to let this go and reduce. Actually, I think I need to add a little bit more water. I'll add another splash. I want the sauce to come in contact with all the meat. All right, so we're gonna let this reduce for a while, you guys, till it gets nice, thick, and sticky. Hence the name of the videos. <laughs> All right, let this go, you guys, and reduce. All right, you guys, it's reduced. We got all sticky and glazy. At this point, you taste it for the seasoning. I went ahead and added some more sweet chili sauce to it, but add whatever you like to it to adjust to your liking. And that is it. We're going to put this over some steamed rice, and then you're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and put this in a bowl for you. Alright you guys, I went ahead and put some kimchi on the plate, and I got some sticky rice, which I added a little seaweed wrap or seaweed paper to it or whatnot. To give it a little extra flavor since it was plain. And here's the star of the show right here. Our delicious sticky glazed pork belly. Now that look good. That's probably my husband's plate. Ooh, don't mind my stove. I just cooked some chicken. <laughs> but anyway glad you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys enjoyed the video i should say if you like comment subscribe for more like this and i'll catch you all in the next one bye